All right, guys, we got two carrier ceiling cassettes. We need to replace the boards and the condensate pumps in. They're occasionally cutting off and running over, and they're making a big mess. So we're going to get those out of there. We're going to get the new parts in and get these things working and draining the way they're supposed to. So let's go. First and foremost. All right, so the filter door will swing down, but it has um, the remote receiver here. So there's a couple plugs we want to take out. One is this one here, and the other one is this guy here. So we're going to take those out, and we can remove the filter door altogether. All right, and we also need this plastic rim to come off too so that has some electric to it too for the turning vanes so we're going to unplug this guy here get him out of the way and then we will have four screws one two three four all four of those will come out and that whole exterior will come off <coughs> Be careful using a drill because you don't want to tight over tighten stuff when you're putting it back. That's our last screw, so this should be loose. get this our main voltage coming in we want to get that off right now and get that out of the way Now, we are replacing this board, but we're gonna do that after we replace the pump. So we need to get this electrical panel loose and out of the way. So let me show you how to do that right now. There's three screws. There's one here, one here, and then that one in the middle right there. So we're gonna loosen all three of those, and that will get this pretty loose so we can kind of get it out of the way. It's still gonna be attached and up there, it will just be out of the way a little bit. that loose we can take this plastic cover off yeah guys just about everything comes off out of the way now and you can see our electrical panel is now loose because the next thing we're going to take off is the drain pan which is four screws in each corner
this will be our last one here. See, when we start pulling this, we're going to guide it, guide our electrical panel in through the middle. Be careful not to damage anything. There we go. Okay, so now that we have this down, let me show you. Our float switch is still attached, so we want to make sure we loosen that up so we can get it out of the way. It's just hand tight right there. So we got that loose. That will just hang there like that, and we'll move the we'll move the drain pan out of the way. Okay, so here's what we're left with. We have the electrical panel, but then there's our pump right there that we need to replace. All right guys, so the best way to figure out what you need to take off of the old one is to look at the new one. So if we look here, it looks like this bracket, we have a new bracket here. So, and I believe this attaches right to the chassis of the unit so a couple screws and uh, a tube right here and I think this whole thing will come right off so let's go take a look inside and make sure of that okay so if we look here it looks like the screws come down from the top so those two Phillips screws there and then one over here will come out and it looks like the whole pump will come out and we'll cut this zip tie with that tube on it and then our wire is this one right here it's connected to that plug right there so we'll get that disconnected and then take those screws out and make sure the whole thing comes out all right so i got that disconnected and we're going to get those screws out now and the whole thing should come off so let's see all right i got my sweet led gloves on <laughs> I got these for a Christmas present last year. two screws on top and then once we get that off we can get that ground screw off too all right I want to show you guys how this goes on because I'm not going to be able to when I get up there so there's a couple different pieces here that we're reusing so this is our new pump but these pieces right here and this piece here we're reusing so on our new pump this piece here is going to go into our, our holes like that. And then this rubber piece is going to go like this. And then our metal bracket will go like that. And then our screws will go back in. I want to make sure this is in the correct position though, because it could go Either way, just make sure you have it in the correct position when you go mount it back. So I'm gonna put these screws. Um, so I can't put these screws in yet because I have to put the ground screw on right there before I can put this on. All right, we got the new one back in now. Just gotta connect our tubing and our wire. And we should be good there. All right, guys, now that the motor is in, or the pump is in, I'm just going to go ahead and reassemble the unit back. And then once it's reassembled, we'll do the board. That way it's mounted. It's not, you know, hanging all over the place while I'm trying to replace it. 
All right, guys, now with the board, we're really just talking about disconnecting stuff and then reconnecting it. So we're gonna make a good video of where everything goes. And then we're just gonna disconnect stuff and reconnect it. We also wanna make sure all of our dip switches go back in the right spot. So we'll take a good video of that. And then we're just gonna start disconnecting stuff. Okay guys, between our new motor and old, our new board and old board, <clears throat> we don't have the mounting bracket on our new one. So we wanna make sure we take that off and transfer it over to our new one. All right, we got the new control board in and all the connections made. So now I just have to finish reassembling the unit and, uh, and we can move on to the next one. All right, just got this one done. Just turned them back on. I did exactly what I, the same stuff to this one as I did to the first one. So we're gonna let them come on, see what happens. All right, they're pumping AC. So probably the real test will be next spring when they run air conditioning with humidity. So we don't have it. It's basically heating season now, so not a whole lot of need for air conditioning anymore, but it's there when they need it. We'll turn these back to heat and we'll be good to go. Hello, kitty cat. Oh, that's a good kitty cat. Yeah, guys, it really is just as easy as taking parts off and putting them back on. So we got this one knocked out. So don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one.